Tom Segura, Sledgehammer, new comedy special on Netflix. Here's my review. In Tom Segura's new comedy special, Sledgehammer, I think we're seeing him at his very best. Now, for comparison's sake, let's say an actor speaking, Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood. In terms of box office success and storyline, that may not be the very best, but in, in that movie, Daniel Day-Lewis, his performance is his very best. So that's what I'm comparing Tom Segura and Sledgehammer to. His performance in that comedy special is his very best. For the new comedy specials that are out there from other comedians, I think their works are not as good as their previous works. So, you know, so their best work is behind them. For example, Sebastian Maniscalco, his best comedy special, in my opinion, is Why Would You Do That? Whereas Tom Segura, he has improved and he gradually gets better. So I think Sledgehammer is his very best. Nicholas Zarillo, film director and producer, and you can see my work on Amazon Prime Video and Tubi, a real-life underdog story documentary. Boom. The atmosphere in Sledgehammer, it's, it's very unique. It has, that, it has that arena 360 feel, but it's a very small, tight crowd, so you still get that, that intimate comedy that you want, where it's very personalized, so I like that. Tom's content. In Sledgehammer, he's touched on his signature moves, as I like to call them. Basically, he touches on his doctor visits, his mother's, his celebrity run-in, all the nostalgia stuff that you expect from Tom Segura's special, they're in there. So if you've seen his Netflix specials, his comedic voice is evident. I'm usually not a fan when comedians put their kids in the jokes as the punchline in the story, but I understand that that's where he's at in his life right now. And ironically, one of the funniest moments in the special is during that bit. My IMDB score on this one is I'm giving it an 8.1. As I said, I think this one is his best special. He's only gotten better, he's only improved, and I can't wait to see him do more stuff. I can't wait to see him in movies. You know, maybe he can be uh, in the machine part two, who knows. And my last note here, uh, if you haven't seen Tom's slam dunk injury video, I suggest you go see that, and you, you, you're gonna cringe a little bit. It's, it's pretty nasty, all right. What is a real life underdog story? It's a documentary featuring myself, diagnosed with MS in 2016, and I battled all the way back from those symptoms to a Rocky style fight against Platinum Mike Perry, former UFC fighter, current bare knuckle knockout artist monster, Platinum Mike Perry. If you want to watch a true life story about real resilience and not giving up, watch the documentary, A Real Life Underdog Story.